Hey guys, it's Aiden from WizKid Science, and welcome to my top five egg experiments. Number five is the egg float. What do you think will happen if I put this raw egg inside of this glass of water? Will it sink to the bottom or float to the top? Let's see what happens. It sunk right to the bottom. The egg sinks to the bottom because it is more dense than the tap water. What would you say if I told you I could make this egg float in the water? I'm gonna show you how. All you need is some salt. I have five tablespoons here and I'm going to mix it into this cup of water. Adding the salt to the water makes it more dense. But is it more dense than the egg? Let's test it out. The egg's floating. It just floats back up again. And there you have it, the floating egg. Try this one out to impress your friends. Number four is the silver egg. Today, we're gonna turn this egg silver. Here's what you'll need. A raw egg, a pair of tongs, a glass filled with water, a candle, and a pair. First, we're going to cover our raw egg with soot from the candle flame. A raw egg at room temperature works best. Make sure you have a parent helping you with this part. Now that our egg is covered in soot, we're going to gently place it in the cup filled with water. Soot is hydrophobic, which means it repels water. When the egg is placed in the water, a thin layer of air separates the soot and water. When light hits it, it is reflected back in all directions, making it appear silver. Even though the egg appears silver, its actual appearance is still black. The silver appearance is just an illusion. Kind of like oil and water. Oil is also hydrophobic. Watch what happens when I pour them together. The oil molecules are repelled by the water, and because it's less dense, the oil floats to the top. Number three is the egg walk. I'm going to attempt to walk across all of these eggs. All that you need is a garbage bag, just in case there's a mess, and about five to six cartons of eggs. These eggs are raw, not hard boiled. I've laid the cartons out in two rows and made sure that all the eggs in the cartons are facing the same way. That way my foot will sit evenly on the carton. I'm going to use the couch to help me get my foot on the first carton. If you put all of your weight on one egg, it will crack. But if you manage to spread your weight across all of the eggs, it won't. I managed to walk across and only cracked six eggs. By the end, I was getting the hang of it and I didn't crack a single egg. Try this one at home. Well, I hope that one cracked you up. Number two is the egg in the bottle. Here's what you'll need. A hard boiled egg, a wide mouth bottle, a piece of paper, some matches, or a lighter. First, peel your hard boiled egg. Notice how the egg will not fall inside the bottle. Then, 
Ask your parent to light your piece of paper, then put it inside the bottle. Then quickly put your egg over top. When the paper is inside the bottle, the air inside heats up. When you put the egg over top, the flame goes out and the air starts to cool down. As the air inside contracts, the air outside pushes the egg into the bottle. And there you have it, the egg in the bottle. And my number one egg experiment is rubber egg. Here's what you'll need. A large white egg, some vinegar, and a jar. An egg shell is primarily made of calcium carbonate. It's very strong, just like the calcium in our bones. Hold an egg in your palm and squeeze it tight and you'll realize just how strong it is. The first step is to fill your jar three quarters of the way with vinegar. Gently place your egg into the jar. If you have a lid, then you can put it on, just so you don't smell the vinegar. The acid in the vinegar reacts with the calcium carbonate in the shell. This releases carbon dioxide, which you see as bubbles, on the egg. Here is my egg after one week. To get it out, I'm going to gently place it in the strainer so the egg doesn't break. Here is our rubber egg. You can gently clean off some of the bubbles with a paper towel. The egg actually feels like rubber. The outer shell is completely dissolved. You can even try bouncing your egg, but be careful, don't break it. Look how much bigger it got. I'm going to take this egg into a dark room and shine a flashlight on it to see if we can see the yolk. Can you see the yolk? Thank you for watching all my excellent videos. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click here to watch my last video where I tested out FireTech rockets. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, WizKidScience. This is definitely one of the best rockets I've ever had.